Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. We were discussing about different ways to create arrays in Python using NumPy library. And in the previous tutorial we discussed about the zeros function. And today in this tutorial we will discuss about the ones function. And this ones function is similar to zeros function. But in this function it will create arrays of ones. Instead of getting 0 as the value of the array, we will get 1's. So let's see the syntax and parameter of this 1's function. Later we will try a few examples also. So to use this 1's function, we need to import numpy library. We will use help function. So this is the syntax. It is similar to the zeros function, right? Here we need to mention once shape, d type, and order. Return a new array of given shape and type filled with ones. Okay, so here also shape is compulsory, d type is optional, order is optional. So let's learn more about the parameters shape, int, or sequence of ints, shape of the new array, similar to the zeros function d type data type optional the desired data type for the array and default is float and order c or f optional default is c whether to store multi-dimensional data in row major or column major order in memory so how to store multi-dimensional data in memory so what it will returns it will return a nd array array of ones with the given shape d type and order so here we can see few example. So nb dot ones. Here we can see one dimensional array. We can change the data type two dimensional array. So let's try some examples. We should write nb dot ones, and shape is compulsory. So you can take ints or tuple of ints or list of ints and I'll enter. We'll get ones, eight ones in the one dimensional array. All the values are in float because default data type is float. So next, if I want to change the data type, can mention d type equal to int or complex so we can see once in the integer form we can create multi-dimensional array for that we need to change the shape here we need to mention the row and columns here we can see three rows and four columns so you can change the order also but it won't affect the output because it is about storing multi-dimensional data in memory so it won't show any changes here in the output. Okay, so this is about the ones function which is similar to zeros function, but here we'll get array filled with ones. Next, there is an another function which is similar to this ones and zeros. That is empty function. This empty function is also used to create arrays in Python, but it will create uninitialized array. So here we can see that empty return a new uninitialized array. So we'll see about that now. This function is also used to create arrays in Python in the NumPy library. So empty shape D type order. This syntax is also similar to zeros and ones function, right? But it will return a new array of given shape and type without initializing the entries. So shape int or tuple of int shape of the empty array d type stands for data type optional desired output data type for the array default is float order c or f optional default is c whether to store multi-dimensional data in row major or column major order in memory okay same as ones function and zeros function what it will return array of uninitialized data of the given shape d type and order object will be initialized to none so here are a few examples here we can see if we create 
array of two row and two column so we'll try by ourselves so here i'll take shape as six and enter here you can see we got an array so these are the random values okay if i take three row four column d type as int So this is about the empty functions to create empty arrays. That's about the zeros, ones and empty function. In the next tutorial, we'll discuss about more functions to create arrays. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.